Hey guys, um, you guys don't know me. I'm Coach Erickson. I'm the Director of Sports Performance for the entire department. You guys probably see me coming in and out, but um, Coach Green came and spoke to me and wanted me to give you guys a sports nutrition talk. Um, to me, this is probably the most important thing that we can do to improve your performance when it comes to playing soccer, to be completely honest with you. Because you guys are like a Maserati, right? If you own the Maserati, you're gonna put some freaking killer spinners on it. You're gonna have the biggest sound system in the world and that thing, right? So why not treat your bodies the same way you're gonna treat that Maserati? So I know from a nutrition standpoint in college, guys eat like garbage. You probably miss breakfast, you go to the calf, it's probably a lot of burgers, a lot of pizzas, or the worst thing is we don't eat at all. So what this talk is gonna do is try to touch on some things that we can try to address, try to make it easy for you guys to make choices, and to try to navigate a little bit that cafeteria and uh, do some things with timing, because I think timing is an important thing for you guys. When to eat, how to eat, and what to eat are probably the most important things that we can try to address. So in this packet that you guys have, it's going to include all the information on this talk because I understand sitting through about 45 minutes to an hour of a, new, of a talk, you're going to start nodding out, you're going to miss parts, you're going to not catch everything that's in there. So this is going to include everything that we're going to work on. So you can take it out. The first page I want you guys just to look at because it's extremely important because I'm going to ask some questions real quick and see where we're starting out with. Who ate breakfast today? Raise your hand. Okay. Hey, in this talk, I want you guys to be honest. I mean, I'm not harping on stuff, but I need to find out what we're doing. Yesterday, you ate three meals. Okay. Yesterday, did you have a mid-morning snack or an afternoon snack? Raise your hand. Okay. Here's the best one. Who ate three pieces of fruit yesterday? Okay. Four. Even the better one. Who ate five servings of vegetables? Okay. Great. That, this is stuff we, we're just going to work on. Um, who had a high fiber cereal? A lot of sugar cereals, right? So cereal has color in it, it's a lot of sugar. So we'll talk in some ways to do that. Um, who had a lot of protein yesterday? Typically with male athletes, we're going to hit that. All right. And then um, did you drink half your body weight in water yesterday? About that. Okay, so listen, that's good because you know what? It gives me information to start talking and what we're going to talk about this talk. All right, so first things first, food is fuel. <clears throat> so we start talking about performance, there's a lot of things we address, right? Now as athletes, you guys work your tails off on the pitch every single time that we're out there, right? You work as hard as you possibly can, you give everything we ask from coach. You come in here, we work hard from the standpoint of pushing weight, moving weight, doing everything we can to get as strong as possible. All right, so we're missing a couple other parts, right? So we're missing rest. Yeah, last night, who got eight hours sleep? Small percentage. Who got seven hours sleep? Okay, better. All right, so rest and this part right here, which we're going to address today, eating high quality performance foods. We just talked about some of you guys, we missed that boat. So there's some areas that we got to work on. To be a great athlete, those three things have got to be in place. All right, so you guys all know how to train hard. That's not a question. But how do we eat right and how do we sleep right? Because that's going to help your body's repair. And then obviously, the uh, eating right is going to help your body's repair as well. So everything has got to go hand in hand for us to be successful. So how many calories do you need? Does anyone right now know how many calories you need in your diet right now? And if you do, let me know. Does anyone? Probably not, right? I bet right now I've asked you guys, any one of your stats, you'd rattle them off from high school. Give me your stats from high school. Oh, I did this, I did this, I did this. Most athletes know these numbers. But this number right here, guys don't know. So we're going to do a little math today. If you guys know your current body weight, what I want you to do is use the number 13. I know we don't have our cell phone, so we don't have a calculator, coach. I don't know how to figure this stuff out. 13 times your current body weight, if you know it. Go ahead and figure out, you guys have pencils. So if you weigh 200, 180, 150, 140, somewhere in there. The next one we're gonna do is moderate training, which will be 16 times your body weight. And I'll talk about which each one of these go into in a second. Next one after that, we'll make it easy, we'll make that 20 times your current body weight. And then we'll go 20, uh, we'll go 26 
times your current body weight. So <clears throat> the problem is when we start talking about calorie intake, most athletes stay at the same number regardless of where we're at from a training standpoint. So that puts our body in a deficit. So every part of your training cycles are different, right? So the, how we are training preseason to how we train at the end of the year to how we are right now. Your body's going through different training. So when I look at mild training, that typically is going to be a period of time when you guys are home where we're not doing any kind of structured training all right so typically when we're in that transition phase usually the month of december january and usually the month of may so that's where you're going to have mild training so your caloric intake should be about that nick what was your number if you don't mind me asking uh for the first one yep Okay, so Nick's gonna take in 3,000 calories when he's home, just kind of doing some training, all right? So moderate training, that typically is when we're just kind of doing, I'd be saying the weight room. We're not doing any agility work, we're not doing any speed work, we're just kind of working on hitting the weights fairly hard, we're doing our normal daily lifestyle. What was that number? Probably like 35? Yeah, 35. Yep. So 3,500 calories. So now you got to realize, as we increase activity, we've got to start in taking a little bit more food. So the next one would be our heavy training. This is when we start doing more of our soccer specific agility speed work and we start staying with the weight room. We're still doing kind of intense training, but we're not killing it yet, all right? When we get into very heavy training is typically what I would consider preseason training. Two a days, sometimes three a days, a lot of competition built into that. Training levels are high. Maybe I'm doing some speed work, agility work on the field. So we have a lot of volume within our body. So that's where in our very heavy training. So what you're doing is you guys got to know those numbers. It's very important for you to maximize your performance by knowing these numbers. Because again, just once you know these numbers, it makes it easy for you to start calculating and maintaining your body weight. Because most guys during a season will drop weight. It's guaranteed because one, you're tired. You don't want to wake up to get to breakfast two you just don't feel like eating sometimes after practice so those are things that can you take into consideration that we got to try to work through so you guys all know the pie chart down there just put it up there just kind of put a visual guide there but it's important to know that when we're eating we want to have a lot of fruits and vegetables okay so when you guys raise their hands for not having a lot we didn't really do a good job on that <clears throat> so when we start breaking everything down, right? 185 pound athlete gonna, is gonna need 3,330 calories a day to maintain your current body weight. So if that athlete wants to maintain 185 during the season, he's gotta eat, eat 3,300. If you wanna gain weight, it's a real simple tool, it's this. It's 500 calories. Because 3,500 calories is one pound. So if you want to gain in seven days, one pound, you got to take in 500 calories extra a day. And vice versa, if you want to lose weight, you want to take away 500 calories out of your diet. So 500 calories really isn't a lot. If you look at what we give you guys for chocolate milk, you take two of those, that's about 500 calories. So again, if your guy's trying to lose weight, just got to take a little bit out of your diet. I would consider most guys probably in this group right here want to gain weight, correct? Or try to maintain current body weight. Any guys feel like they got to lose weight? All right, so when we're gonna start talking this talk, everything's gonna be time to talk about gaining weight or maintaining weight. Very important to do, because again, what happens when we start losing weight and we start not maintaining our current body weight? Injuries are gonna happen, right? And that's why it's so important to eat right. If your body's fueled the correct way, we minimize that risk of injury, because we're not tired. We get tired, what happens to our run mechanics? It gets changed. Instead of having a high knee strike coming to the ground violently as we're sprinting, we may push a little bit. So we hit the ground differently. We put more stress on that hip flexor. We put more stress in my hamstring that's a lot of reasons why you guys get hurt sometimes during the season because we're not eating right and we start changing the way we're doing our patterns we're definitely not sleeping adequately because our sleep patterns are over so those two components play a big part in injury prevention so if we can work on that that's going to help us but again i always go back to this number when i give this talk i always say this kids will look at a number and go oh, coach that's way too high because you're going to take in almost four thousand calories if you want to gain a pound right and you start looking at it, i can't take in four thousand calories that's too much i'm going to look like this guy we don't want you to look like this guy. We want you to be lean, fast, explosive athletes. Soccer players should be lean, fast, explosive athletes. We don't need you guys to be bulky guys. So we got to make sure we're maintaining good caloric intake. 
So again, when I say start talking about 3,800 calories or 3,400 calories, when we start saying that number, guys always freak out, like that's way too many calories. Well, let's break it down, all right? We start breaking down what we're doing in the course of a day. Right here, an agility workout for a 150 pound athlete is gonna be 340 calories in one hour. Weight training, 408. One hour of practice is about 680 calories. That's a high intense practice, all right? If we're doing a lot of skill work and just kind of de de doing install stuff, we're not gonna be that high. So I don't want you to think every time you step on the pitch, it's gonna be 680. It depends on what we do for activity. Around that number too, a little bit higher for competition. And then just sitting around studying, you're gonna do about 88 calories. So again, going to class, you're burning about 100 calories in that hour. So total, we're talking 1,500 calories. That's half or over here would be that number. All right, so that's just about a thousand calories less than what that athlete's gonna take in. So this is only activity. For you to sit here and exist, what's going on right now within your body? Your heart's beating, right? Your lungs are taking in oxygen. Everything's working, okay? It's called your basal metabolic rate. You naturally burn calories by doing nothing, all right? For you to exist, for you to sleep, you're burning calories. So you don't realize when you guys say, and I look at caloric intakes from kids, and they're only taking in 2,000 calories or 3,000 calories, and they wonder why they feel sluggish, why they're not performing at that high level. Because, man, look at this. We're, not, we're burning so many calories from activity. You guys are high level division one athletes. We're asking a lot of you, right? You burn more calories, and then think about this once you get done working out your body's still burning more calories it's called epoch extra post oxidative cons consumption not to get too technical but after you get done working out where right, you have a hard intense workout what happened to your heart rate it is super high it's burning its power bah, 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 bah. even an hour after that hour and a half after your body is still burning those calories so you got to take in enough calories to fuel that Maserati man if that Maserati is not kicking on 12 cylinders we're not gonna run hard right none of the girls gonna be looking at you they're gonna have that bah, 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 Button down the road. We don't want to see that. We want to hear that roar.